Hi, it's Faceless Tech. Um, I've been working on this project for like the last two months. It is a uh, Game Boy Macro, but with a flush GBA port, and I'll show you what I mean. So normally, the GBA port on a DS Lite has it slightly sticking out, but I've made one that can take a GBA car all the way into the shell. It's the same size shell, so a few people have said, oh, you've just made the slightly deeper shell, but it's the same size DS Lite shell, just slightly thicker. And I'll show you what makes it tick. But first, I'll give you a quick boot in. You can see it works. So I'll take you on the uh, other side of it, of what makes it tick. Basically, this is the original prototype I made. Um, kind of someone asked the question, can you make a uh, thingy with a flush car? And I was like, I just said no, that's uh, the quick look at a board. And I was like, no, it's going to be impossible. Just get the, you know, the cut down uh, flash cards if you want to make a flush flush one. But then kind of um, I just couldn't help myself. And I was like, I thought, is this even possible? So I had a look. I found out you'd have to remove the DS uh, card slot um, to move this uh, 40 mil up into the, into the PCB. Uh, I also noticed that the crystal, uh, DS crystal was in the way. And also the... Um, battery uh battery post was in the way so it was like um so I basically took took one apart took all the parts off um and then I tried to solder it with like a bit of flat flex uh, cable that didn't work um so I quickly whipped up a flexible PCB just to um go in between the gap so you could basically bridge that to the um all where the old connector went and then just connect solder the new connector on top which is this one but then someone was like, oh, um, wouldn't it be great if you had the uh, footprint for the crystal? Um, and basically I made this one, which is a better one, which has through holes. It's slightly longer as well. So these um, these just went next to the old connector. These actually go over the old connector. So you can just solder them down uh, and then put some double stick tape on the back of your uh, GBA slot. Stick that down and then you just solder it on the back because then it gives it a nice, because um, this one's quite thick. Uh, height because this connect all connector used to sit basically in this gap, so it used to so now it's sitting on top of a flex board on top of this board, so you get about two mil uh, extra height. Uh, and I also kind of had to play around with the footprint for the crystal because the 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 actual um, one of the feet, uh, one of the old feet of the crystal was actually where one of the uh, GBA uh, new new connectors were going to go. So I kind of like moved it up and made it a tiny little one, and it just it just about fits. So you can basically solder this down, solder the crystal on, and everything works. Um, there is a few downsides. You need basically need a 3D printed shell, back shell. You can't use a normal standard shell because you've got the extra 2 mil height. Um, you're going to have to use a hard soldered in battery. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty uh, it's pretty great mod, really. You can use a standard faceplate on this. I just used this one because it was just one I had with a front-facing speaker. It's like a game, uh, Nintendo Switch speaker. Um, but yeah, it's it worked out pretty well to be honest. Um, I don't. I, I am going to open source this project because I kind of didn't know what to do with it because it's not kind of a project you might want to take on yourself because it's quite involved taking all the parts off and stuff. Um, I don't even know if people people would even want this uh, as a thing. But uh, you know, I thought I'd give it out there. I'm going to give away the bottom shell um, or the non-commercial license. So you can make your own, but not sell them. Um, and then uh, the this flex PCB. Which is good to go from Oshpark. They make uh, quite cheap um, flex PCBs, but they do take a while. Normally takes about a month to get to England. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it was. I didn't know if it was going to work at first, and then you know you kind of get the prototype back and it works. So uh, you know, thought I'd make a better board, and uh, yeah. So yeah, as usual, uh, blog post in the description below with all the files, a little bit of a write-up. I'm not going to do like a full-on tutorial of how to do this, because I think if you know, you'll know. You basically remove the GBA port, remove the DS port, remove the crystal, remove the battery post, and you'll pretty much um, self-explanatory, really. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.